Hey guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Infosys interview. The candidate had 2.1 years of work, working experience working as a Java developer and uh, when he solved the problem, he got selected and uh, he was offered a CTC of 8.4 LK, that is 8 lakh 40,000 per annum. Okay, now let me tell you what was the problem statement. So he was asked to get a list of all products that belongs to the books category and the product price must be greater than 200. Okay, and he was asked to solve this problem by using Java ad feature. Okay, so the input he was provided as uh, he was provided a list of products. So this is going to be a list of products and he was asked to get all the products that belongs to the books category and the product price must be greater than 200. Okay, so that was the problem statement. Uh, now uh, let me show you how to do this by using Java ad. Okay, just to save some time, I have created a class product and this class contains four attributes or four variables, ID, name, category, and price. So these are going to be the attributes of the products. And then I have written getters and setters, which will be used to set the value of the product or get the value of the product attribute. Apart from that, uh, I have created a default constructor and a parameterized constructor. So by using this parameterized constructor, I will create a product with uh, these values. Okay. After that, I have written a two string method. This method will be used to print the product details. Okay. So this is about the product. Then I have created a main class and inside that I have written a main method, which is going to be my starting point for my program execution. Now let me create all the products which were there in the, our problem statement. So what I will do, I will simply copy all these products and paste in my code. Okay, so here you can see I have created seven products. T1 is equal to new product 101 Java books and 150. So here this is going to be product ID. This is going to be product name. This is going to be product category. And this last parameter is product price. Okay, now out of this seven product, what I will do, I will create a list by using this product. So here you can see I have written a code that will give us a list of products. So list of products is let me import the list from java.util.list and there is a method arrays dot as list which takes the all the uh, products as a input or parameter uh, to create a list. Okay. Now we got the list. Now we need to write Java it code to find all the products which having which are having books category and we need to make sure that the product price should be greater than 200. For that what I'm going to do, I'm going to use stream uh, APIs uh, which are provided in Java. So very first thing which I need to do is I need to take streams out of this list. So for that what I will do products dot stream is a function which will give you a stream from this list and then I need to find the products which are having uh, books category. So first thing what I will do, I will try to find the products which are having book category, books category. For that, what I will do, I will use filter function. This filter function takes a predicate. Predicate is nothing but the condition which we need to check. So here the condition which we need to check is we should have product category as a books. So what I will do, p dot get category dot equals ignore case and here i need to pass the books category okay so here i will pass books as a category name so this will give me the list of all the products which are having category as a books okay now i got the books category product then next thing what i need to do i need to check whether the product price is greater than 200 or not for that again i will write one filter and in that filter, again, I will mention a condition that the product price should be greater than 200. So P dot get price and this price should be greater than 200. Okay. Now what I got first thing, uh, the list got filtered by the books. And then after that, I'm filtering it based on the price. Okay. So price should be greater than 200 okay after that what i will do i will try to collect these 
into a list. So there is a method which is provided by Java Ed features and collect is the method and I need to mention in which form I need to collect the result set. So we have two lists that will give us the result set into the list. So that to list method is available inside collectors class collectors dot to list to list will give us the result set into the list. Okay, now I got the list and then I need to print the list by using for each loop. So for each is also one of the feature which is provided in Java 8 and this for each uh, takes one argument which is going to be your action. So action is nothing but we need to print the elements of that list. Okay, so let me use system dot out to print the elements of the list. Okay, so here system is a class out is a variable of type class and print ln is a method by uh, which we can print the details of the product and this colon colon operator is called as method reference operator so that is used to call the method okay now i'm done with the code and let me run this code and show you how it behaves okay now i'll run this by using run a java application and here you can see i'm getting output as product one id 102 and 104. So these are the two products which are having category as a books and price is more than 200. So we have these four products which are having books category, but only these two products are having price greater than 200, which is the expected output. Let me explain you one more time what we did. So we had seven products. By using those seven products, we created a list of products. Okay. By using arrays dot as list method, we created a list of all those products. And then we created streams by using stream function, which is provided in Java 8 uh, by stream APIs. And then we have used filter to filter the products which are having books category. In the first filter, we filtered all the products which are having book category. Then in the next filter, I filtered all the products which are having price greater than 200 and books as a category. And after that, I collected all those products into a list by using collectors dot to list method. And then I used for each method to print all the product details. Okay, guys. So that's it from this video. See you in the next. Till then. Bye-bye. Thank you.